as a Wilson HL Wilkins professor, I intend to uh, perform an epidemiology project to study what are the factors that, are, that are cause barriers for uh, underrepresented minorities to receive and accept dental implants as a treatment. Here at the dental school, we have a large pool of patients that seek treatment for many uh, reasons. Uh, obviously, one of the treatments that we provide is uh, surgical treatment with dental implants and the restorative aspects of it. Uh, we find that there's a lot of, uh, that dental implants, when they're proposed to the patients, they're not always accepted. And uh, many times the reason is because of lack of education for the patient. Part of this project is one, to understand those reasons and understand in patients that reject that treatment why the rejection happens. Uh, with a special focus on un underrepresented minorities because they tend to be the ones that reject those treatments more. But also uh, the project has a, a, an outreach arm to the community where we will go out uh, to those communities that are underrepresented and uh, try to educate them about dental implants, specifically about the dental school and how we do dental implants, what are the processes involved, the benefits of having dental implants. That's the most important aspect of practicing dentistry is, is giving the patient the tools to understand the treatment they're provided so that when they make a decision, they are very well informed. This is very close to heart because it allows me uh, to understand ways to improve oral health of patients and overall health, systemic health of the patient. It'll allow us to also increase the patient pool uh, that comes to school requiring dental implants and this will also help educating the dental students when they have more experiences and so on. Thank you.